everyone. Welcome. Happy July 2nd. I hope you all had a wonderful Canada Day. We are here today for Force Focus. So if that's what you're looking for today for your workout, you are in the right place. My name is Tammy Barrage. I am one of the PSP Fleet Fitness and Sports Instructors down here at the Dockyard Gym, CFP Halifax. So welcome. Hope you are all ready to sweat with me today. As always, we are going to be working hard but listening to our bodies, modifying as we go, even though I'm here guiding us through the workout. Make sure that you know that you can take breaks, listen to your body, modify, take water whenever you need it. Also, I have a little music going here in the background for myself. Feel free to have music for you if you find that more motivating. We're all in this together. So let's just get the verbal disclaimer out of the way, talking about our response from COVID-19. In response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms, the virtual classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness level are unknown. And it is entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class. Since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members to consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document. If you experience any pain or difficulty during the exercises presented in this video, it is recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. If Canadian Armed Forces members sustain an injury during this video, please remember to fill out a CF-98. Again, if you're just joining us and missed that, it is posted in the post for our class today, so feel free to take a read there if you need to for that disclaimer. So like I mentioned, we are here for force focus today. We are going to go through a force-related circuit, but we're going to start off, as always, with our warm-up, so we'll get moving together, slowly easing into getting that heart rate up. Going through, as always, with each of our exercises, I will describe them and demo them and have you jump in and trial them with me. Then when we get into our workout, it'll be the same kind of format. We have four different sets to go through today, just like the four events of our force test. Each one is tied into those events. So each of those exercises will actually break down to two different exercises, one being more of a movement base, the other one being more of a hold. Okay? So we're going to go through those. They're going to be time sets that I will time for us. So getting ready, we are going to start with our warm-up. Let's get started with forward reach and shoulder activation. So hopefully you all have your water. You're ready, all you need is yourself and your space and your mat, no equipment required. So just a comfortable space, whether that's a mat or floor. Let's get ready, creating our base, slight bend in the knees here. Let's reach those arms out and then draw back. So we use this a lot, pushing ourselves off the ground, reaching a sandbag out in front of us, picking it up. So let's just start to get that strength through our upper body, that range of motion. As always, keeping that core strong, drawing our belly button in towards our spine. We really want to start activating our shoulders. So as we reach in front, we are squeezing those shoulder blades behind. So reaching forward and squeeze. That's it. Hopefully you can all see and hear me. If at any time you can't, make sure to try and let me know. I won't be reading the comments as much as we go. But make sure you do leave comments if you need to, and I'll get to them at the end of class. Also, hashtag our workouts. And up. Squeezing down. So same thing. Reach and then draw down, creating W's here with our arms. Activating the shoulder blades. Try to get that alignment. Shoulders away from the ears. That's it. Find that reach. So slight bend in the knees here as we start to create our base, drawing that belly button in, engaging our core. These are warm-ups too. You can also do this for any of our Navy 10K virtual series. Feel free to check that out on our PSP fitness page, PSP Halifax. Joining into all the virtual stuff we have to offer right now. 
All right, shoulders are good to go. Let's get into some bodyweight squats, focusing on that lower body. So finding our stance wherever that may be, whether it's hip width, whether it's toes forward or toes out, find your squat, sitting through those hips, coming back up tall. We want to keep that chest out, shoulders back. Still engaging that core, hips initiate our movement. That's it. Remember, we're just gradually getting that heart rate up. Starting to warm up the body, getting ready for all that work ahead. That's it. Sitting back through those hips, trying to ground through those heels, ground the feet to the floor. Let's go. That's it. Staying tall and strong through that torso. Let's just do a few more here. Find that breath. All right, we're going to continue with the lower body. We're going to do some flossing here of our sumo squats. So those of you that know me know I love to do these flossing exercises. So finding that sumo squat, similar to where we were, widen it a little bit. Toes out, heels in. Wider stance, trying to get into those adductors, inner thighs. We're going to sit down deep into the squat, reaching for our ankles. We're going to lift through the hips, lengthening the legs. This time as we sit, really focus on drawing forward through the chest, shoulders back. That's it, hips up, sink into that squat. Hips up, sink. That's it, trying to pull ourselves through as we come down. Really trying to get opening through those hips. Lengthening the hamstrings at the same time. That's it. Let's go. Getting warm. Just a few more here. Let's go. Warm up those legs. For three, two, and one. Come on back up out of those. Okay, let's move on. Frankenstein, single leg deadlift with a reach. So these ones, let's really take our time, start to focus on our balance work. We are going to incorporate some balance as we go today. So keeping a tall body, but getting a hinge from our hip when we go for our reach, even as we reach standing. So let's reach one leg in front, hand comes from behind. Opposite leg, same thing. So let's alternate from one side to the other. Let's try to keep that core strong. We don't want to sacrifice the spine as we reach. So if we can't reach our toe, that's okay. We're going to work our way in. That's it. Find that reach, wherever it might be. We're going to alternate in a minute here. Turn into that single leg deadlift with a reach. Just a few more here. Getting ready. All right, standing tall. We're going to hinge from the hip, dropping down opposite hand towards the floor. Squaring through the hips, squaring through the shoulders. Come back up. Opposite side. Come back up. So we're taking our time here, getting that balance, getting that hinge as we find our reach. So we really want to focus on keeping that squareness. Coming back up. If we lose our balance, that's okay. Just reset and then start again. Just a few more each side. One more each side. Let's go. All right, now we're going to incorporate the two together, do a combination. So, hand to toe, hand to toe. Hand to the ground, hand to the ground. Hand to toe, hand to toe. Hand to the ground. Take your time, reset. Hand to the ground. That's it. Trying to get that coordination, trying to get that balance. It's a lot to think about. 
Getting our minds working here. That's it. Just a couple more here. Reset in between. One more each. Let's go. All right, shake it all out, grab a quick drink of water if we need it. We are gonna jump right into that workout. Like I said, it's time set. I'll be giving us our timings. We're going for 45 seconds, typically for our first exercise, 60 seconds for the second one in each set. It will change a little bit throughout the workout, so I'll be sure to let you know. Everything you need should be right here. Make sure you have your water close by. Let's get ready. We're gonna start with set number one. 20 meter rush is related here. So as you guessed it, we are gonna incorporate some up downs. We're doing a line touch to up down. So if you wanna have a look here first and then jump in with me. Imagining there's a horizontal line in front of us, touching it with our foot. We're gonna drop down so that we're behind the line with our shoulders and hands. Lift the hands, come back up tall. Touch that line, drop down, hands up. Let's go, try it here with me. Touch the line, drop down, hands up. Here we go, find that line. Make sure we're behind it. Getting up safely, whatever way we can. All right, hopefully you got the hang of that. Then we're going into a plank. 60 second plank, pulling from the hands or from the forearms. We can go from the knees or from the toes. Modify as we need to, squeezing every single muscle here, looking for that alignment. We want hips down and even, press back through the heels, shoulders over wrists. So try it here with me, find which one works for you. Are you going from the hands today, or the forearms? Find your plank, as we draw that belly button into the spine. All right, hopefully we have it, we're ready. We're going right from one to the next. Starting in three, two, one. Line touch, up, down, let's go. We're going for 45 seconds here. That's it, keep that pace up. We want pace, but we want to think about our form. Touching that line, dropping down. Let's go. Make sure our shoulders are behind it every time. Touch that line, drop down, hands up. Let's go. 15 seconds. Find that breath, work through, keep moving. Five, two, one. Come on back up, shake it out. Let's get ready. We are going for that 60 second plank from the hands or the forearms. Three, two, one, here we go. Finding that plank. Alignment here. Shoulders over wrists. Press back through the heels. Squeezing every single muscle. Remember, we can go to the knees anytime. Remember to breathe. Holding strong. That's 30 seconds down, 30 to go. That's it, make sure our hips aren't up in the air. Hold strong. 20 seconds, you got this. Did I mention we're going through three times each for each set? So we are going right back into our line touches. In five, four, three, two, one. Shake that off. Quick drink of water if you need it. We're resetting, right back to those line touches. 45 seconds, catch our breath. Three, two, one, let's go. Line touch, into our up down. Just like our rushes in that force test. We gotta be behind the line. We gotta lift those hands and get back up, let's go. That's it, touch that line, sit back behind, lift the hands, come back up. Ten seconds, let's go. Find that breath. 
when you can, modify. Three, two, one, let's go. Finding our plank, wherever it may be. All of our muscles working together here. Then we only have one more time through. Then we'll take a real water break. That's it, find that breath. Hold strong. Halfway, 30 seconds down, 30 to go. That's it, we've got this, 10 seconds. Trying to stay as low as we can, getting from one side to the next. 
just like we would in that sandbag lift. Okay? Hopefully we have the hang of that because we're moving on. Squat hold with lateral step or slide. This really depends on your surface. If you have a slippery surface and socks on, or if you have a towel or a slider, you can get into that squat position. This time we're gonna hold that squat position, sitting through our hips. Again, lateral focus. So sliding one foot out, coming back in, or step, come back in. If we can't slide, we just step. So we're gonna go one side for 30 seconds, then the other side. So try it here with me. Find that squat, hold there, and then slide or step. Okay, find our positioning, find what works for you. Okay, let's get ready. First 45 seconds, going into those side shuffle touches. Step or jump. Let's go, here we go. Side shuffle touch, side shuffle touch. Stay as low as we can, quick feet. Stepping or jumping, find that reach. Core is strong. That's it. One side, over to the next. Let's go. Get that heart rate up. Find that movement. Let's start to sweat. Let's go. Stay low. Sit through the hips as much as we can here. That's it. Ten seconds. Here we go. Two, one, standing tall, reset. We are going into the squat hold. So find that squat position. Find that hold. 30 seconds on one side. Doesn't matter which side. Start with whichever side you choose. Three, two, one. Here we go. Slide or step. Staying in that squat. We don't want to come up out of that squat. Move really slow here. Find that control. This one is not about speed. It's about holding that position. Staying low. We're almost there, then we're gonna switch sides. In three, two, one. Other side. That's it, same thing here. Hold that position, step or slide. That's it. Open up those adductors, abductors. Let's go. Find that stance. Hold strong. Stay as low as we can. We are almost there. Three, two, one. Shake it up quickly. Going right back to that first one. Side shuffle touch. Let's go. Three. Two, one, 45 seconds. One shuffle to the side, then reach. Keep that core strong. Find that hinge from the hip for our reach. Let's go. Quick feet. This is where we want to be quick. That's it. One side to the next. Almost there. 15 seconds, here we go. Find that breath, breathe through it. Keep moving, let's go. Two, one. Shake up those legs. Start to feel that burn. Get ready, 30 seconds per side. Squat hold, lateral touch. And getting ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Out to the side. Sitting in that squat, holding strong. Draw it in through that core. That's it. Staying strong. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one. Other side, right away. Let's go. Same thing, just opposite side. Find that squat, hold 
hold strong. Step or slide. That's it. We got this. Keep moving. 10 seconds. Out and in. Three, two, one. Shake it out quick. Getting ready to reset. Last time through. Side shuffle touch. Three, two, one. Here we go. 45 seconds. That's it. Side shuffle once, hinge and reach. Staying as low as we can. Keeping that slight bend through the knees. Sit back through the hips. That's it. Find that reach. Let's go. Quick feet. We want that heart rate up now. Keep it up. Let's go. That's it. Stay low. Quick feet. Five seconds. Two. One. All right. Find that squat. One side at a time. Three, two, one. Find that lateral movement with control. That's it. Slight pause on either side. Pause, bring it in, pause. That's it. Hold strong. Core working all together here, keeping us in our position. Two, one, other side, right away. That's it. Good, sit through those hips. Round through our heel that's keeping us steady. Slider step. Whatever works for you. Let's go. 10 seconds here. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Awesome job so far. Halfway there, first two sets done. The last two to go. Let's grab some water. Take that water break. Moving on to set number three. Focusing on that intermittent loaded shuttle. So this one is one of the more aerobic events in our four sets. Same idea, we're going through three times. Three full sets. First exercise is a lunge pulse for 30 seconds. So what we're going to do is step out into a forward lunge, one side at a time. So as we step out, find our lunge position. So align that front knee and ankle. Really important to align ourselves first. Then we're going to sink down and pulse here. So staying tall as if we're going from the head all the way through the spine down towards the ground. Okay, that back knee is bending. It's going down. We're going onto those toes. So try it here. Find that lunge pulse. A few times on one side, a few times on the other. Step it out. Find that forward lunge. Find our alignment, front knee and ankle. Sinking down. Find that pulse. So we're going to go 30 seconds straight on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Hopefully we found that lunge pulse. Second exercise, alternating knee up to warrior three. So some of you maybe have done this with me before. This is where our balance comes in. So we're going to do a knee up and then hinge forward, finding our reach in front. If this is too much, we can modify, reach to something, reach to a wall, reach to a chair. We're just trying to create that balance as best we can. That squared us through our hips and our shoulders that we worked on in our warm up. So knee up and hinge. So try it here with me. Throughout the workout, we're going to alternate from one side to the next. So we're not going to stick to one side. We will alternate. Okay? Try to flex that foot behind us. Draw it in through the belly button. Give it a try. See what works for us. Do we need to hold on to something? Do we need to reach towards something? Ground through that bottom foot. Alternate each time. All right, I think we have it. Let's get ready. 
Lunge pulses, 30 seconds per side. First side to start. Three, two, one, let's go. Find that forward lunge. Find our pulse, let's go. Aligning front knee and ankle. Staying tall with that torso. Still drawing in, core strong. We're already halfway. Feel that burn, let's go. We got this, work the legs. Five seconds, two, one. Other side, right away, find that lunge. And pulse, let's go. Straight up and down. Lengthen in between, pulse down. That's it. Come back to that breath. We're gonna need it in the next one. Five seconds. Three, two, one, up, okay. Shake out those legs. We're going up to knee up, warrior three. We're going for a total of 60 seconds. Sorry, 45 seconds, let's go. Up and hinge. Other side, up and hinge. So we're focusing on slowing things down. Find that balance each time. Doesn't matter how long we take, how few we do per side. We want them to be solid each time. So really work with that breath. Find that reach. Just 45 seconds here. 10 seconds to go. Five. That's it, two, one. Last one, okay, we're going back to those lunge pulses. 30 seconds per side, three, two, one. Here we go, step it out. Find that alignment, sink into it. Staying tall, find that pulse. Halfway there, let's go. Pulse it out. For three, two, one. Other side, right away, reset. Find that forward lunge, align, front knee, neck, go pulse. That's it. We really want to focus on that front knee alignment with the ankle. We don't want our knee going out past our toes, not for these lunges. We're almost there. Three, two, one. Up tall, reset, shake it out. Let's slow things down. Knee up and hinge. Alternate, other side. That's it. Just 45 seconds. Then our last time through for this set. That's it, find that reach. We're not in a hurry here. Trying to find that balance, establish that balance. Core strong, belly button in. Almost there. Three, two, one. Last time through. Then we're already on to that last set. Let's get ready. Focusing on those lunge pulses. Three, two, one. One, here we go, forward step, find that lunge. Our legs should be burning, let's go. Find that pulse. Almost there, last time here, five seconds. Switching sides in three, two, one. Other side. Step it out, find that lunge, right into it, find that pulse. Last time for these, let's go. Stay tall and strong, pulse it out. That's it, 
That's it. Less than 10 seconds. You can do this. Stick with it. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Awesome job. Get ready. Last 45 seconds on this set. Find that warrior three. Let's go. Three, two, one. Knee up. Find that balance. Alternate other side. Slowing things down. Find that pause. We're not rushing through. That's it. Only one more set to go. Our sandbag drag focus. That's it. Try and flex that foot behind us, toes to the ground. Heel pushing through the wall behind us. In. Three. Two. One. Last one here. Shake it out. Water break. Take that water if you need it. Keep moving if you choose to. We're going to move on to that last set. Set number four. Sandbag drag. Going down to the floor now, if we're comfortable, we're going to be on our bellies. If this doesn't work for us, we can go from a bird dog position, so tabletop, alternating opposite arm, opposite leg. So that's our modified version for today. Going down otherwise, all the way to our mats, arms in front, legs behind. We are going to alternate arm and leg, find that lift. And then the other side. If this is too much, we also have another option. We can just lift the arms or just lift the legs. So modify whichever way you need to. We want to take care of that back. So let's find which version works for us. Are we here? Finding the leg and arm alternating. Just the arm, just the leg. Or are we going up into our tabletop? Finding which one we need. We just want to be careful to engage that core, not overextend the spine. So hopefully we got a chance to practice that one. Then glute bridge on our backs, knees bent. Heels up towards the glutes, toes forward. Toes and knees stay forward, lifting those hips. Shoulders fully underneath to protect the neck. Arms to the sides or hands underneath. So find your glute bridge. We're going to try and stay holding, stay lifted, lifting through the glutes for 60 seconds. If that is too much for us today, we can slowly lower and lift back up, finding a flowing bridge. So up to you, you choose your workout. Getting ready. We're going to get right into this set number four, alternating Superman or bird dog for 45 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Find that alternating arm or leg or both. Even if we are in our bird dog from that tabletop position, we can choose to just extend the arm or just extend the leg. So still drawing the belly button in towards the spine. We want to be cautious to not lift too high. So 45 seconds here. Just a gentle lift, keeping that head down, looking just ahead of us on the floor. Remember to breathe, five seconds. That's it, two, one. Finding that position on our back, let's get ready for that glute bridge. Remember our options, we can flow in and out if we need to, otherwise we're trying to hold for 60. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hips up to the sky. Shoulders underneath. Protect that neck. Create that little valley in between. In between the bottom of our head, our shoulders. Hips are lifted as high as they can go. Knees forward, toes forward. Arms to our sides or linked underneath. Let's go. Find that hold. Remember to breathe. We gotta strengthen our backs for the sandbag drag. Let's go. Halfway there. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Let's go. Find that hold. 
hold, wherever it may be. If our hips start to drop, lift them back up. Squeeze the glutes. Find that lift. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Slowly lower. Come on out of that. Back forwards onto our Superman or Bird Dog. Second time through. Let's get this done. Getting ready. Three. Two, one, here we go. Remember our options. Modify as we need to for these 45 seconds. Just that gentle lift, head down. We don't want to compromise the spine. So just a light back extension here. Slowly moving with control. Again, this one's not for speed. Fifteen seconds to go. Five seconds. Two. One. Flipping over to our backs. Time for that glute bridge. We are almost done. Glute bridge for three, two, one, let's go. 60 seconds here. Find that bridge. Lift. Toes forward, knees forward. Shoulders underneath to support us. Keep those hips lifted to the sky. Let's go. Remember to breathe. If our hips start to drop, lift back up. Or find that flowing bridge. Slowly lower, then lift back up. Pause. Slowly lower. Let's go. Over halfway. Let's go. Holding strong. We are so close. Ten seconds. Find that lift. For three. Two, one, slowly lower. Back forward, last time here. Let's finish strong. Cool down after this set. 45 seconds. Three, two, one, here we go. From the knees or from our bellies, let's go. Just that light lift. If our levers are too long here, we can also lift by bending through the arms. Find which version works for you. 15 seconds, let's go. That light lift. Five seconds. Two. One. Onto our backs. Last time. Last exercise. Then it's our cool down. Let's get ready. Last 60 seconds. We got this. Three. Two. One. Here we go. Toes forward. Knees forward. Get those hips as high as they can go. Finding our bridge. Remember to breathe. We are so close to being done. This is it. Finish strong. We are over halfway. 20 seconds. Keep those hips up. Lift, lift, lift. Ten. Three, two, one. Slowly lower. Come on out of that. That is 
it for the workout. It is time to cool down. Awesome work, everybody. So getting right into our cool down, grabbing water if we need it. Everybody works hard, hopefully you sweat. Definitely getting ready for that force test. So let's start by getting into our child's pose. Going from the knees, we're just gonna sit back, hips towards the heels, reaching forward with the arms. Give that low back a nice stretch. Maybe even feeling it in our upper back as well. Remembering that we wanna stretch the muscles we work today, especially. And this is the time for our static hold. So try to stretch for 30 seconds at least for each stretch. So really pushing the hips back towards your heels here while we reach forward at the same time. And come on forward from that. We're going to bring our left knee forward, left foot forward. We're going to go into a low lunge to start and come up into our hip flexor stretch. So supporting our knee in any way we need to, or we can go up to standing version if it's too much for our knee on the ground. We want to lengthen that torso up, pushing forward from our back hip. Find that length here. We can find a reach, settling through the shoulders. Our hip flexors are always strengthening, always tightening. So we want to stretch them out. And release down out of that. Bring that knee back. Let's bring our other leg forward. Finding that knee and ankle alignment, just like we do with all those lunges. Finding that reach if we choose. shaking it out. Bring that knee back. Let's move to standing. Because we didn't have enough balance today, let's do a balancing quadricep stretch. If this is too much, we can also do it laying down on our side. So reaching back for that ankle, try to point the knee straight down, keep our legs together, stay tall. So we really want our legs to stay together, pushing force we feel at the front of our leg, our quadricep. And other side, same thing. So hopefully everybody got a good workout today. Make sure to drink lots of water throughout the day. All right, shaking that out. Let's get to our hamstrings and our calves. So taking our wide stance, wide-legged forward fold. Again, that magic hinge from our hip and reach as far as we can. So whether that's our legs, our ankles, our toes, maybe the mat in front of us. So we really want to promote that strengthening, that stretching through the hamstrings, through the calves, all the back of our legs. We worked them hard today. Lengthen up through the chest, reach over to one side. So whether that's our left or right, just one side for now. And lifting up again, moving over 
over to that opposite side. And sitting up back to center, slowly coming on up. Last one for our calves, because if we're doing lots of walking, biking, running right now, we may need this especially. So let's have one leg slightly back, offset stance, slight bend in the knee. We're going to send the hips back, lengthening this front leg, reaching up towards the sky with the toes. So finding that reach. And come on back up, other side, same thing. So slightly offset stance, back legs for support, slight bend in the knee, lengthen this front leg, lift the toes, send the hips back, find that reach. All right, that is it for today. For this workout, there is another workout starting at 12, so feel free to jump back into that if you want a double feature. But as always, thank you for joining us for this workout. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you, everyone. See you next time.